What is the best diet for weight loss specifically? There are numerous diets out there and the weight loss industry is worth billions of dollars. So we often see people making all sorts of claims about what diet is best. The study we're taking a look at today is by Johnson et al. from JAMA and it looks to compile a meta-analysis of the effectiveness of popular diets based on name brand diets and how they improve weight loss in patients. A few of the brand name diets that were looked at specifically included the Atkins diet, the Volumetrics diet, Jenny Craig, and the Ornish diet. The study population included overweight or obese adults with at least a BMI of 25 who were randomized to a popular brand name diet and then their weight loss and BMI were followed up at 6 and 12 month intervals. 48 randomized controlled trials were included in the meta-analysis, and the average age was 45 years old, and the average duration of the invention was about 24 weeks. The results were largely unsurprising, showing that any sort of diet was better than no diet at all at six months, and although low-carbohydrate diets did have the most average weight loss at around 8.7 kilograms, it wasn't significantly different from low-fat diets, which also produced significant weight loss of around 8 kilograms. Also worth mentioning is that at 12 months, the low-fat and low-carbohydrate patients still showed an average weight loss of around 7.25 kilograms. Pretty impressive. Interestingly, around six months, the low-carbohydrate diet appeared to be the most effective, but by 12 months, that had shifted to the low-fat diet. So in general, most of the diets were associated with about an eight kilogram weight loss at six months. And then there was a slight regain of weight. So the total weight loss at around 12 months was about six to seven kilograms. The overall takeaway is that it appears that the consistency and adherence in a diet is substantially more important than which specific diet you choose to implement, which seems to be becoming more and more popular sentiment. Obviously, this is just one study, but when a study of studies like a meta-analysis starts to show something, I think it might be worth to dig a little deeper and see what they find. What do you think? Has this been your experience? Thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you found this helpful, we really appreciate you share this with someone or if you hit the like button or subscribe. Thanks so much. Really appreciate it. Hope you have a great day.